Welcome to Bright Learning. In this video, we will discuss about physical quantities and SI units. The quantities which can be measured are called physical quantities such as length, mass, time, volume. We often use these physical quantities in our daily life such as we can measure the distance of our school from our home or we can observe the time at any instance of the day and night by using a clock. A quantity is considered to be a physical quantity if it possesses the following attributes. One of them is size or magnitude and second is the unit in which a quantity will be measured. Let's say your mass is 40 kg. In this case 40 is the magnitude of your mass and kg is the unit but without kg 40 is not considered a physical quantity as it is not clear that what is represented by this number. In order to describe a brick, its length, width, height and mass are measured. So these are the physical quantities. In order to measure a physical quantity, we compare it with some standard quantity. This standard quantity is called unit. When we purchase some sugar, we must know how much quantity of sugar we are purchasing such as 1 kg, 2 kg or more kg. When we buy fabric, meter is used to measure the fabric. In these two examples, the standard quantity is kg and meter which are the units of mass and length. International system of units. It is the most widely used system of measurements based on seven base units and is abbreviated as SI. This system of unit was recommended by the scientists in an international conference held in 1960 near Paris. At that time, people, especially scientists, were facing problem of converting units into one and other. This problem was solved by SI system. This system is of much importance as all the countries of the world have adopted this system that is of same kind and same standard units. One standard unit can be converted easily into another and all the units of this system are more precise and acceptable to be used. Here we are having seven fundamental quantities of international system of units along with the base quantity name and its base unit. So the first quantity is length with the base unit meter. Then comes mass and the unit is kilogram. Time is measured in seconds and unit for electric current is ampere. Temperature will be measured in a standard unit that is Kelvin. And in order to represent the amount of a substance, mole is used. Intensity of light can be measured in a base unit, candela. Thanks for watching.